This game went into overtime at Oskaloosa, so this one should be a pretty close battle too. Unfortunately, the Beavers, they rallied from a 15-point uh, first half deficit and then took an eight-point lead with two minutes left to play, but they were unable to, uh, but they were unable to get the win. And there you see the men coming out, and there you see the William Penn men coming out, so it should be a real good battle. A lot of anticipation await of uh, students awaiting this game on campus here this weekend because uh, this is a game really truly that BV thinks they can win. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, the biggest man that William Penn stars is Jim Joy, who's a 6'3 junior. And while uh, Buena Vista has all of their guys except Donnie Walls at that height or taller. So uh, height should be a big factor. But don't get me wrong, uh, William Penn men are really good leapers. They, uh, they're they able to block out, and they can really sky for the rebound. Uh, so uh, their height is, although they're not as high, they, uh, they're able to get up. I guess I should say. Yeah, well, I can understand that. Uh, Univista is coached by uh, Jeff Spielman, and Spielman is in, is in his 10th season. And uh, a lot of good things said about him, and they're just having a rebuilding season with all these sophomores here, Joey. That's right. It's a really young team that Univista starts. They start uh, all sophomores and one freshman even. Jason Evers, a freshman from Clarks, Nebraska. Uh, on the other side of the coin, the William Penn, they start two seniors, two juniors, and one freshman. So uh, let's see if age and experience can play into this game a little more. I was speaking with uh, Donnie Walls earlier this week, and he thought this uh, game would be a really high-intensity, uh, fast-paced game. How would you comment on that one, Jared? Well, their last game was pretty uh, high-scoring. Even It went into overtime, but uh, it ended up being 107 to 96, a William Penn victory. So that was an overtime. I don't think they're going to score quite that much tonight, but you never can tell. The Beavers are an up and down team, as is William Penn. So we'll send it up to Jay Miller, the uh, public service announcer for tonight's starting lineups. starting lineups and we've got a lot of people on here to witness this game a lot of anticipation as I said before and Jared you got it you got to be expecting uh, this game to probably start out quick and maybe settle down well uh, some, some sur surprise starters there on the part of coach Leon Richardson for William Penn he started Daryl June a 6'6 senior as well as David Wallace a 6'6 senior so he's going w and uh, whereas he would typically start Glenn Mayberry a 5'9 junior and Steve, Gent, I'm sorry, Shad Rockhold. So our starting lineups are, as uh, you see them on your screen, Riley, fourth, Evers, 
Larson and Walls for Buena Vista. And uh, they're going to get ready to tip it off here in William Penn. You see Pilgrim and all their starters. So uh, Evers set to jump the ball against Pilgrim. And Buena Vista controls. They get it over to Walls, Walls to Riley. Into fourth. Over to Evers. Rotating the ball very well. Walls at the top of the key. William Penn in a tough man to man. Riley drives, dishes. Evers down low, fade away, got it. It's a great pass there by Brendan Riley. He saw the open man. And so, two to nothing right off the bat. 19 minutes and 30 seconds left. Buena Vista on top. William Penn gonna go into a little bit of a delay game to see if they can pull up. Buena Vista out, out of their zone offense into a man-to-man. -man. And uh, Buena Vista's not biting, and uh, they're just sitting back waiting. And this, this zone off defense by Buena Vista is a little different because it's a two-fifths of a zone. They kind of play some matchup, so it's uh, a little misleading. They get it to Mayberry. Mayberry at the top of the key, looking for someone to pass to. Nobody. Two seconds on the shot clock, a release. Not a good shot, and loose ball recovered by William Penton and then taken away. Walls up to Riley. Riley dishes it off to fourth. Fourth can't get it to fall. Larson with a rebound, can't get it to fall. Rebound by Wallace. Great rebound there by Kevin Larson. Great job of following. He just didn't quite power it up like he should have, and he didn't get the bucket to fall. Slow down game, uh, kind of opposite of what we thought we'd see tonight. Well, I, I think uh, William Penn's just hoping that that zone will just break down because I, I don't think they, they're really confident in their outside shooting there, Jerry. Well, let's see what they're going to do. Mayberry. Shot clock down to 10. And it's tipped out of bounds by Riley. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Mayberry to inbound. Mayberry thanks, shoots the three, it's good. If they can continue to, that kind of shooting, if they can make their shots like that, it would be a good idea to run that offense. Walls to Riley. Evers at the top, he's way out there for a center. Fourth with the ball. He's over to Riley, Riley looking for something, doesn't take it. Walls driving. Drops it off to Larson. Larson can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Follow up. No good. Kevin Larson's having trouble making those easy shots. And typically, he'll, he'll make those no matter what. A little bit of an off night, perhaps. Mayberry. William Penn looking a little confused offensively as uh, they're pointing to which way to go. Mayberry holding the ball a long time. 20 seconds left in the shot clock. Lava deep down, it hits the backboard. No good. Rebound by number 45, David Wallace, and he gets a bucket. The Beavers have to do a better job of rebounding, especially on the defensive end. Walls to Evers, off Evers' legs, and it'll be William Penn ball, that's a turnover. It's a great pass by Donnie Walls, it's just that Jason Evers, uh, she, he was too concerned about getting his man off of him. And he just let the ball slip out from his hands. So William Penn up five to two after Buena Vista scored the, opening, the game's opening bucket and just hasn't gone anywhere since with uh, 16 minutes and 30 seconds left in the uh, first half here. Mayberry at the top of the key, looking for somebody to pass. William Penn really eating the shot clock. I don't think they want to get in a running game with uh, BV because BV's really quick. And uh, it's got some good shooters, and once they get rolling, Shot they get rolling. Shot clock down to 10. In and out. And uh, a lot of good leapers, as you said, and they're just getting up there and grabbing those boards. That was a great backdoor play by William Penn. They just couldn't get the layup to fall. But now they're going to set it up anyway after they got their own rebound. Jennings with the ball. Gets it over to Mayberry. Mayberry looking. Puts it over the corner to June. June into Jennings. 
Jennings fires it up, no good. And Ryan Forth with a rebound. Up to Riley. Riley lays it in. Five to four. Great outlet pass there by Ryan Forth and also a great job of blocking out. Donnie Wallace is also blocking out. Looked like number 45, David Wallace, may have gone over the back, but the refs didn't see it that way. So five to four, our score, William Penn up by one. And BV stepping up the defensive pressure here. 15 minutes left, well, 15.08 left in the first half. And uh, not too fast paced of a game, but uh, the, both teams are showing a lot of patience right now. Trying to feel each other out a little bit. Mayberry drives, dumps it off to June. June gets it slapped away by fourth. Great play. Walls pushing it up, gets it to Riley. Riley to Walls. Walls. Drops it off, but gets stolen. Get up to Mayberry. Mayberry takes it all the way in. That's a great Glenn look by Mayberry. Glenn Mayberry. One of the things that coaches tell their players to do is show the other team the ball, and that's exactly what he did, and they bid on it. 7-4 to four our score. Larson off of his foot. Great hustle and by And Wall Tony steals Wall. the outlet pass. Gives it up to Riley. Riley pushes it up court. He dumps it off. Larson, I thought he was fouled. June with the rebound. I thought he was fouled too, but, the, but it looked like he got all ball and he had his body away from him. So uh, the rest with the no call. Mayberry does not want to get his team into this kind of running match with the Beavers because Beavers are just getting down getting down the floor rather quickly and they're just not hitting their shots. So. They are, but they're not converting their layups and their easy baskets. And Kevin Larson especially, he's 0 for 4 and all his shots have been in the paint. Can't miss those easy ones. Mayberry at the top of the key. Shot clock down to 10. He shoots up another three. It's off the rim. And Larson with a rebound. It gets it knocked away. And Larson with a foul. Jennings will go to the line. That's the BV's fourth turnover of the night. And those could prove to be costly. Kevin Larson gonna make sure that he didn't make the basket there after he lost the handle on the ball. He's gonna have a seat. So we got some new players in, and I can't quite see their numbers from Zach here. Zach Cole, uh, Mark, Mark Fieldmeyer coming in. All right, thanks, Jared. Sitting out, Ryan Forth and Kevin Larson. Jennings at the line. And first one's off the front of the rim and in. Second shot on the way. And that sits on the front of the rim. We've got a foul, and it's on Daryl, or it's on uh, Daryl June, uh, the foreign exchange shooter from Dutton, New Zealand. And eight to four is our score. William Penn on top here. Very low scoring game, 13-30 left to play in the first half. Walls and there's only 12 total points scored. Walls trying to push it up court there. Gets down to the baseline. Riley kicks it out. And number 40, Mark Fieldmeyer with the bucket. Coming up off the bench, that should be a key for the Beavers. They gotta have a lot of bench support, Jared. Mark Fieldmeyer, he's been playing JV all season long and the last few games he's played a lot of varsity action. He's done a great job coming, coming off the bench for this varsity Beaver team. Eight to six, our score, William Penn on top. 12.48 left in this uh, first half here. Mayberry at the top of the key. Gets it down on the baseline. Out to June. June pops it off the rim. Riley soars for the rebound and he's fouled by number 25, Pat Pilgrim. That's his first foul. Team second. Pat Pilgrim first. Team second. Zach Cole inbounds it to Walls. And Walls brings it up court, lets it roll. Up to Riley. Riley driving, gets it to Walls. Walls with a beautiful fake. Drops it off to Evers. That's Zach Cole. There's Zach Cole, by the way. Mark, Mark Fieldmeyer with the tip in. And Mark Fieldmeyer's come off the bench to play a really aggressive ball. And that's his second bucket. Now the game's tied at eight. Mayberry at the top of the key. 
Zach Cole, the space eater in there. Pilgrim with a jumper, can't get it to fall. And Rollins with a rebound, pushing it up court. He's gonna take it coast to coast, lays it up, can't get it to fall. Mark Fieldmeyer couldn't quite get the handle on that rebound. Mayberry pushing it up, knocked around. Great hands by the Beaver defense there. Jennings with a three off the rim. And the tip in Pat by Pat Pilgrim. He soared right up there, right over everybody. He sure did. That was a great leaping job. And it looked like he may have gone over the back. But the Beavers have to learn to get their uh, behinds into him a little more. Walls with a three. Oh, and he hits it. Beavers take a one point lead. 11 to 10 is our score. Mayberry at the top of the key. Jennings. Look really a something. pretty boring game, really. Pretty Especially boring game. with uh, William Penn in this slowdown offense. But uh, as you can see, lob and a alley-oop dunk. Pilgrim. Pat Pilgrim. That was a great play. That's a setup play William Penn has, and the Beavers have to recognize it and stop that play before it can even develop. So 12 to 11, William Penn on top. Walls back to Riley. Riley feeling his way off the glass, can't get it to fall. June tries to get the loose ball and steps on the out of bounds line. Kevin Larson coming back in for the Beavers. Outgoing is Jason Beavers. So Univista will inbound the ball. Brandon Riley will be tossing it in. Down by one are the Beavers. 12 to 11. Try to get it to Larson, and they can't get it. Mayberry with the, the steal and uh, lays it in. That's just a bad pass, and, and right there. Too bad the Beavers couldn't get it. They should have gotten the ball. I don't think it would have been an over-the-back call because they never touched it. Riley has attempted a three, no good. June soaring up high for the rebound. Beavers. William and Penn up by three. Beavers have to convert their shots, especially with William Penn in a slowdown game like this. Jennings with the ball. Pilgrim roaming that baseline, possibly for another alley-oop dunk. Mayberry at the top of the key. Get over to Pilgrim. Pilgrim left over there sitting, doesn't take the shot. Jennings tries to pass it in, tipped by Riley. Riley, spin move off the glass, no good. Tip in by Mark Fieldmeyer. He's done a great job off the bench. That's his sixth point. And the score is 14 to 13, William Penn. And thanks to Mark Fieldmeyer, Buena Vista is staying in this game. Fieldmeyer, three for three. He's a freshman from uh, early Iowa. Ball kicked by number 52, Zach Cole. I think Buena Vista is content in letting uh, Pilgrim sit out on that baseline. He's not taking those jump shots. You're right. And in comes Jimmy Calkins to give Donnie Walls a break. No, neither team really getting too tired with this slowdown game. Jim Calkins, primarily known for his outside shooting ability. Coming into game to lead the Beavers. Mayberry, sitting back there, running the offense. He can provide a great offensive spark plug for this Beaver offensive team. Mayberry at the top. Try and get it in. Zach Cole takes up the loose ball. Calkins brings it up, pushes it up, gives it to Riley, it's tipped. And it goes off Riley, I guess. And It'll be William and Penn's ball. Riley does, looks a little bit dejected. That's the sixth turnover for the Beavers. They have to take care of the ball better than that. Uh, the Statesmen have five turnovers, so it's been a pretty sloppy game thus far. Mayberry. I, I just don't understand this, uh, this uh, strategy by the Statesmen, but uh, it seems to be keeping the game at whatever pace they wish. June with the ball down to the baseline. It reminds me a little of Princeton. They're trying to uh, really slow things down. Calkins with a dish. Fieldmeyer off the glass. He's four for four with eight points. And Buena Vista takes a one point lead courtesy of Mark Fieldmeyer coming off the bench and really doing a great job for the Beavers. He sure is. He's practically leading this team right now. We got a foul against Zach Cole. I guess a little bit pushing in the paint. It looked like uh, number 45 
for uh, David Wallace. David Wallace, thank you, Jared. Initiated the contact, but uh, Zach Cole got called for it. Pilgrim opted not to take the jumper, gives it up to Mayberry. You have to kind of wonder, where is Josh Hegel? He was a starter earlier in the season. He started most of our games, but now he has yet to see any playing time in this game, along with Jared Lehman, too. And the shot is made by Wallace. And uh, the Statesman take another uh, one point lead, 16 to 15. Riley driving. Gives it up to Zach Cole. Zach Cole over to Cockins. Cockins gives it up to Riley. Down in the corner. Phil Meyer gets it into Larson. Larson's foul as he offensive foul. I guess Larson used his elbow to get around. And that takes a harsh uh, acceptance by the crowd here, Jerry. Yeah, Kevin Larson with his second foul there. I don't quite under understand it, but and neither is Coach Spielman. He's asking for an explanation from the refs, but uh, he's not going to get one. And unfortunately, well, neither am I. Well, I guess we'll just have to let it ride. No one's going to replay here. William Maybe. Penn showing great uh, patience here on offense. Just sitting, waiting until there's about 10 seconds left on the shot clock. And then they'll uh, call a play. Well, they, have to know, they have to have realized that uh, when BB gets on a run, they get on a run because of their fast break because they've got Riley and Walls to push it up. They've got like great that. playmakers and who can especially create on fast breaks. And we got a traveling courtesy of Jennings. Uh, Brendan Riley with some good defense and he will take a seat on the bench as will Fielmeyer and uh, a lot of hands for him as he came in and did a terrific job off the bench. Walls and Forth are checking back in. Coming in for the Statesman is Jeff Madren and sitting out is uh, I believe Steve Jennings. Walls pushing it up. Gets it down to Zach Cole. Zach Cole gets his man up in the air. Tries to dump it down into the fourth and knocked out of bounds by June. Both turnovers, Eve pretty even in their turnovers. Cockins yet to put one up fourth. Gets it into Zach Cole. Zach Cole puts it up off the glass in here. He's got a really wide body and he uses, uses that right there to clear away a path towards the basket. 17-16 our score here. Beavers up with six minutes and 14 seconds left in the first half. A really low scoring first half. I can't believe that William Penn has continued to use this slow down offense. However, it's working for him. This pace, we may not even get to 40 points for either team. I don't know where Jim Joy has been for uh, William Penn Statesman. He'll be coming in a little bit. Maybe he got into some losing the doghouse. We got an offensive foul. The turnover, travel call. Travel? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. And that's the eighth turnover on William Penn. The Beavers have six. Larson inbounded to Walls. Donnie brings it up. Pushing it up rather fast. Slips, gets right back up and springs up like a like a bunny there. Gives it up to Larson. Larson into fourth. Fourth with a spin move, and it's good. Nothing but net. That's what Ryan Forth is so great at. He's got a great turnaround jumper. He's got great body control, a great touch on the ball for a big man. So 19-16 our score, and if uh, BV can keep this defensive up, pressure up, uh, the Statesmen are gonna have no uh, choice but to push the ball. 5-18 left in the first half. Wallace inside, tries to dish it off. Loose ball on the floor, Mayberry picks it up. Pilgrim with a reverse, can't get it to fall. Number 35. Kevin Larson with that foul. That's his third. He'll have to take a seat on the bench. Jim Joy will go to the line. And Larson Follow getting into foul trouble early. That could prove to hurt the Beavers. Jim Joy, last game, Joy scored 25 line. points against the Beavers. And this is just his first action, his first shot, really, against us this game. And he misses his first, first free throw attempt. And... Uh, Evers back in. Larson's going to take a seat on the bench. Second shot on the way. And he connects on that one. So 19 to 17 our score. Buena Vista up. And uh, 
I think they're gonna look to try and push it up just a smidge because it, <laughs> Donnie Walls, as he put it, I like a fast-paced game. Donnie Walls has got great speed, and he uses that. Hawkins with the ball, looking for somebody to dish to. It's that to Zach Cole, spending a lot of time. Bad pass, fast break, two on two. Walls gets back in, backs and knocks the ball, and uh, we got a foul on Donnie. And uh, that's his first. I think he, that was a pretty smart foul there by Donnie. He uh, could sense that they were fast breaking and they had the numbers, so he decided to get a foul on the floor rather than give him the layup. So we're not yet into the one and one, one and one situations, but uh, fifth team foul on Buda Vista. Donnie Wall so quick, he's so great at stealing the ball. And Wallace can't get it to fall. We got a foul on number five, Jeff Ma Madrin. Madrin, that's his first. Pushing off on the rebound. Evers will be rolling the ball in. And, uh, Mark Fielmeyer coming back in for Zach Cole. Zach Cole does, did a great job as a role player, coming in and wearing some of their big men down. Score, he scored a bucket, got, he battled inside on the rebounds, and that's what he does so well. Crowd can't get, can't really get into this type of game very well. You know, it's not, uh, it's not the get up and go kind of game you'd like to see here. And that's another advantage for William Penn playing on the road. That's probably what Coach Leon Richardson wants to see from his team. Donnie Walls with the jump. Oh up. yes, Whoa. Donnie Walls, great body control, hung up there in the air and let her rip. He's a great competitor. Mayberry at the top, looking for somebody to pass. This is not typical of a BV game. Usually they're really high intensity, high going kind of games. Jumper by Pilgrim, Hawkins in his face, no go. Pass right off the face of Jim Joy. And uh, Walls pushing it up, gets into fourth. Fourth, looking for somebody to dish off to. Hawkins looks at the three, gets it over to Evers. Evers pops, no good. Fourth leaps up in the air, can't get it to Go back in and Joy with a rebound. Mayberry bringing it up across the half court. And the Beavers, they aren't very patient on offense since they don't get many ch chances at shooting the ball. And if you just noticed, uh, William Penn did not take any time and the point score, Ryan fourth. fourth. That was a great look up court. The Beavers are great on that fast break. William Penn took no time last possession to run their offense and consequently had a turnover that resulted in two points for Ryan Fourth. Now they're slowing it up again, just a smidge. Maybury over to Pilgrim. Pilgrim has just been sitting there. He's just like a lame duck, except for a couple of dunks. A three-point jump shot off the rim. Fourth with the rebound. Walls Peters, pushing it up. Break. Great Fieldmeyer. pass to Fieldmeyer. Fieldmeyer gets his man in the air off the glass. He's got 10 points. He fights. He's five for five tonight. We got a timeout on the floor. 25 to 17. I think we're going to keep it right here. And uh, this crowd's starting to get into it. The, the game's getting a little faster here, Jared. Yeah, and that's what the BB likes. They wanted to run and gun and use that fast break. Mark Fieldmeyer, he's a 6'6 freshman from early Iowa. He's come off the bench and done a great job. He's five for five with 10 points. He's also got a couple steals, some rebounds, and he's doing a great job. It's 25 to 17 here. We got two minutes and 39 seconds left in this first half, and it's just been a back and forth kind of game, and uh, William Penn has tried to keep it slow for a while now. Finally, BV's just kind of broke him, I think, Jerry. Uh, the reason why is because uh, early on in the game, William Penn, they were taking care of the ball and making smart passes. Lately, they've been making bad passes. The Beavers have gotten their hands and tips and stuff. And so, uh, William Penn has eight, or I'm sorry, ten turnovers, while BV has only seven. And that's really quite a key, especially when uh, William Penn's trying to slow the ball down and that type of thing. Glenn Mayberry leads William Penn in scoring with seven points. So, Evers, Fieldmeyer, Walls, Fourth, and Riley are on the floor for the Beavers. And uh, Simmons comes into the game for William Penn. We've also got Wallace in there and Jim Joy, Jennings, and Kopak 
for William Penn. I couldn't quite see his name. And we've got a back. Over and back call against William Penn, and that's their 11th turnover. A really sloppy first half, especially considering that it's a very slow, slow game. But I think that's part in part due to the fact that BV's kind of sped this game up, so the William Penn Statesmen are kind of getting careless here with their passing. That's right, BV's trying to force William Penn to play the BV style of the game. Walls for three, off the rim, it sits. Fielmeyer with a shot, it's knocked away. The well, crowd asking for a foul, but they're not gonna get one. Looks like he traveled right there, no call though. Down to Jim Joy, Jim Joy just swarmed. Jennings with the ball way out there. 28 seconds left on the shot clock. Statesman not getting anything. And number 35 with a shot, Jim Joy off the glass. 25-19 our score with 138 left in this first half. Riley pushing it up. He's gonna drop it off to Evers. Evers with a jump. No good, fourth with a rebound. Back up, foul! And he'll go to the line. I don't know who the foul is on. Uh, I don't know, it might be on Luke Simmons, number 15. And it is, Luke Simmons with a, slapping him on the wrist there, and Ryan Forth will go to the line. Great job by Ryan Forth of battling on the boards. He tipped it up to keep the ball alive, and that's one of the key things you have to do on the offensive boards. And that's what he did, and he eventually came down with it, made a head fake, and got his people in the air. So at halftime, we're gonna have a lot of uh, interesting activities for you guys to watch as you sit in your dorm rooms or wherever you are. Ryan Forth misses his first free throw opportunity. That's the first free throw of the night for the Beavers. And he misses his second one. And a rebound by Fielmeyer, and he hangs on the baseline and keeps it alive for the Beavers. Fourth at the top, off the rim. That foul's going to be on Jason Evers, yeah. Good ball. Uh, was he over the back there, Jared? Or? Uh, I think he pushed his man off to the side with his left hand. That's what it looked like. I think there was an, also an acting job there done by the William Penn player. But you can't argue with Fielmeyer's hustle, hustle there on a free throw. He rides in there, gets the rebound, and just hangs on the baseline to try and find somebody. And he's got six rebounds for the Beavers. A great spark off the bench. We talked earlier about how that was key. We've got a minute left here in the first half. Beavers up 25-19, air ball by one of the Pens. Riley got hung up in the air and committed a personal foul. And it'll be uh, his first. Wallace going to the line. Great Riley's job first. by Davis Wallace, of, or David Wallace of getting the rebound, and then getting Brendan Riley into the air by the head fake. Riley got way up there. I guess he's a really good leaper too, Adrian. He sure is. He had position on him. He just forgot to get his hands up and get the ball. He's too worried about getting position. First shot on the way. No good. This has been just kind of a cold shooting game so far, here. It sure has. Whereas the women were hot from the free throw line. Both teams here seem to be. Fielmeyer with another rebound. That's seven for him. Riley pushing it up court. Gets it over to Walls. Walls looking for somebody. Gets down to Evers. Evers on the baseline. Looking for somebody. Gives it up to Riley. Got 42 seconds left in the first half. Riley drives. Gets it up to Walls. Walls for three. Off. Fielmeyer tips it right into the hands. Of Jennings. Jennings takes it. Tosses it away. Oh. We've got a foul on Walls, and I didn't see it. I thought he got all ball, but the referee did have a better position than I did up here in the booth. Uh, that's his second foul. Not really too costly. I don't, it's going to be two shots. The wall showing a, a little bit of an experience there, not getting upset and just uh, walking into his slot on the pay. That's right. La last year, Walls would have gotten mad at the refs, but he's learned the Iowa Conference refs. They remember names and faces, and you have to get on their good side. And uh, William Penn can't seem to hit a three throw. They've just made two out of the six they've made, or attempted, excuse me. First one missed by Jennings. Second one on the way, and that is good. Beavers now up by five. So the score. Hold it for the last shot. 25-20 with 26 seconds and counting. Walls pushing it up. A lot of pressure on him. Gives it up to Riley. We got 15 seconds left. Riley taking it around. Over to Walls, Walls driving, and it's kicked by a 
I, I think Shad Kopic, and it'll be BV Ball. There's Jerry Beaver's trying to got see. away with one there. It, it was actually off of Jason Evers' foot. But uh, okay. they saw a foot go up. and Lobbed into yeah. Evers. Evers down the lane. No good. Ryan Forth with a rebound. Off the glass. Oh, it's a great offensive rebound there by Forth. And now out of bounds. The Beavers are going to get one last shot. With 1.3 seconds left, a turnover. 27-20 is our score. And BV's going to probably just get it in bounds and hurl up a shot. Off, no good. There were two buzzers there, and I don't know if they're going to do anything about that. So it's halftime now, and uh, not, a, not a too uh, exciting of a first half there, was it, Jordan? But a great job by Mark Fieldbuyer coming off the bench. He scores 10 points, gets seven rebounds. Fourth has six, uh, six points and a bunch of rebounds. Donnie Wallace has five points. Uh, fourth has three rebounds, all of them on offense, I believe. And the leading scorer for William Penn is Glenn Mayberry. He has seven, including a three-pointer. Kevin Larson is having an off game for the Beavers. He's uh, been held scoreless, I believe. He's 0 for a lot. Anyway. Okay, so right now, uh, sorry to cut you off there, Jared, but we're going to send it back to Loggy Communications Center for a station break, and we'll see you in a couple minutes. If you can't use force <laughs> to stop a friend from drinking and driving, Hop in. use hey, your wits. This is your car. Yeah. My brother had the same car. He never let me drive it, though. No? So you must have had me in mind when you bought this. Wait till he hears you've got the same one, and you let me drive it, right? Okay. Yeah. Take the keys, call a cab, take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Dorm Lake, get ready for Honey Kiss Pizza. Hot, delicious pizza on a wholesome wheat crust, loaded with the finest ingredients and kissed with a sweet brush of honey. It's gourmet pizza like you've never tasted before, served up piping hot and delivered right to your door. Call today and order the Honey Kiss Special. Two medium single topping pizzas for only $10. Or get a pair of two topping pizzas plus a double order of cinnamon sticks for only $12.50. Honey on the dough, pure honey butter on the crust. It's great quality. It's a great value and it's fast. Call 732-2149 for Honey Kiss Pizza. We're back here live at Siemens Fieldhouse. And right now you are seeing the Storm Lake Drill Team performing here on the campus of Univista College. And, and a, uh, give us some halftime stats there, Jerry. Well, PV, they're uh, shooting 50%. From the field, they're 13 of 26, while William Penn is 8 of 22, so not the hottest shooting for William Penn. The Beavers up 27 to 20 over William Penn, and the rebounds, the BV leads there too, 17 to 11. And you gotta be, uh, Coach spielman has gotta be happy with this team, and uh, not not getting frustrated at that slowdown pace that William Penn has been shown. And uh, so they go into the halftime with a seven-point lead. You've got to be excited about the play of Mark Fielmeyer. I mean, where did this guy come from? Well, he's a freshman, and I think Coach Spielman saw a lot of potential in him the whole season long. He just hasn't quite uh, had the experience necessary to play at the varsity level. And he's played a lot of basketball at JV and varsity, and he's finally gained that experience. And it's really been off for him tonight with 10 points and 7 rebounds. Now, we have yet to see... Uh, Josh Eagle, uh, any idea on why? Well, uh, he's he's probably in the doghouse with Coach Spielman. I don't really know the reason why. Uh, he's not. He's kind of in a slump lately. Uh, although I'm kind of surprised that he's not in there as a guard. Uh, they could really use his jumping ability. He's a real good leaper, and he, he's also a very good driver, and uh, he can shoot. Well, maybe we'll great body control. Yeah, maybe we'll see him in the second half right now, and. Uh, the leading scorer seems to be uh, Mark Fielmeyer, and uh, what about uh, Jason Evers? Yeah, Jason Evers, he's done a great job on the boards, but he only has two points. Okay, well right now we're gonna send it back to Loggy Communication Center. I talked earlier with Donnie Walls this week, and we're gonna send you right to a, a station break and interview. We'll see you back here.
Hi, I'm Dave Fields for Innovation Sports, and I'm here with uh, basketball player Donnie Walls. How you doing, Donnie? Pretty good. So, Don, um, you have a pretty young team here, and you know you're five and fifteen. Uh, where would you place the team right now, as far as caliber and, and where it's going? Uh, well, you know, you, like you said, you know, we're pretty young. We've got a long ways to go yet. We uh, at the beginning of the season we had some difficulties with some conflicts with individuals, but. You know, it's it's getting better. We're playing as a team. Like at the beginning of the season, we you know go one on one with some things instead of playing together as a team, and uh, we're kind of disappointed with our record. We should you know it could very easily be reversed at 15 and five. At the beginning of the season, we lost a lot of close games by like three points or one point and stuff. You know, and we played some tough competition, but like I said, it's it's getting there. Now you have a since you have a young team, you're going to need some people to step up. Um, what are some of the people? that are stepping up. I know you're a captain. Yeah. Chip Wolverton's the other captain I'd like to mention, but uh, <clears throat> he doesn't see a lot of playing time. I mean, he'll get in a couple minutes and, you know, he'll do his job. He'll run the offense. He's not a big threat as far as scoring, but he gets in there and gets some rebounds and stuff. Uh, Jason Evers, who's a freshman, you know, he's come a long ways. He's doing really good uh, as far as rebounding and stuff he needs to work on, but uh, he likes to take the ball to the hole pretty good, and, you know, he's going to come through in some games for us down the road. Now, speaking of freshmen, you know, you came in uh, with, with freshmen like Brandon Riley, and, and uh, he's developed into quite a good player. Oh, yeah. Brandon's really good. He's good at taking the ball to the hole, and he likes to drive a lot. Uh, he gets, you know, out of hand, so do I. You know, we like to kind of speed things up every once in a while and try to, you know, make things happen too fast, and that kind of gets us in trouble. But uh, playing with Brandon and, you know, like Jim Calkin and stuff is really – it's quite an experience because we both, you know, all three of us <clears throat> like to basically run and gun is our style of offense. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, can you give us some of the players that come off, uh, come up off the bench and, you know, kind of help your team out? Uh, Jim Calkins, who he was starting earlier in the season, is now he's coming off the bench. Uh, he's an excellent shooter from the outside, and, you know, he likes to pressure the guards, good defensive player. Uh, Steve Hawkins, who's also a good three-point shooter, he comes off the bench mm -hmm. and helps us out a lot. Uh, one of my good friends, Jared Lehman, who uh, is just a board pounder. He's you know he's only six one, six two, really. We list him at six three, but uh, he's not the tallest kid in the world. But he's probably our I would say our best rebounder as far as coming off the bench and stuff. And you know those three are basically the three main people that come off for us. So how fast of a team are you? Do you would you how would you rate your your team speed? Uh, I would say. A very fast and sometimes uncontrolled team. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean by uncontrolled? Do you just get careless? Or? Yeah, we, you know, we like to run, but we sometimes uh, do it where we shouldn't run. You know, we don't know. You know, at times we run too much when we should slow it up and just run our, you know, patient offense. But you know, we get, you know, we're still young and, you know, we don't understand sometimes when to run and when not to. Well, you have two pretty good games here coming up this weekend. One against William Penn and uh, one against Loris. Any comments on those? Either one of those two teams? Well, William Penn's kind of uh, in the middle, I, I believe, as far as the conference goes, and you know they're an excellent team. They have, I think, almost every player from out of state. I don't think there's one from Iowa even on their team, but uh, they're just a bunch of leapers and they like the boards in their inside game. Uh, Loris, who just basically rocked us the last time we played them down there at Loris, beat us by like 30 or so. Uh, they're a good out, outside team and inside team, and they'll both be tough games, but I think we can get them here at home. Now, with Loris, I mean, that was earlier in the season. You've come away since then. Do you think you can compete with them right now? Oh, yeah. I think definitely we compete with them. We just got to, you know, we, last time we played them, we shot like 30%, I think, is what we shot in the field. And, you know, if we get the percentage up in the 50 range, we're going to stay with them real easily, I think. Now, being a young team, you need a lot of players. Uh, how many actual players are there in the BV program, which you approximate? Uh, there's around 30, I would say. Okay. And is the junior varsity squad a really good squad? Are they, you know, really good to practice against? Um, I don't want to, you know, put them down or anything, but it's hard to practice against your JV. I mean, they're a good team, but they're not, you know, at the level that we're going to play against in conference and stuff, mm -hmm. so it's hard to play, you know, against them in practice. I think uh, we should start playing against you know the varsity team because we have like 15 guys on the roster for varsity, and I think we should really like inter squad scrimmage with each other on the varsity, just because you know the level is you know, basically the same up there. Mm -hmm. And now you're averaging uh, 8.5 points a game. Uh, are there any things that 
uh, you see uh, that you can improve on as far as, as where you're at as your potential? Uh, yeah, I could, I could learn, you know, I got to drive more, you know, because my strength is my, is my drive into the hoop, and, you know, and then passing it, getting someone a layup or something. But I need to look at the 15-foot jump shot a lot, too. I mean, it's open. They're, they're laying off me and stuff, and they're, you know, going to say that, well, he's not going to shoot. He's going to look for the pass first. And I got to start taking that 15-foot shot now since, you know, they're going to lay off me. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck, and, and I hope your season gets a lot better. And, you know, you're a young team, and I think the only way to go is up. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hang in there. This has been Dave Fields for Innovation Sports, and I've been speaking with Donnie Walls, and they're playing a doubleheader with the women, and come out and watch them play. Here in the first half, uh, list of un upcoming events here, Jared. Your home for Buena Vista basketball will bring you three upcoming Iowa Conference battles. Innovation videos, upcoming telecast are uh, tomorrow, February 13th, Loris at Buena Vista, February 19th, next weekend, Simpson at Buena Vista, and February 23rd, Wartburg at Buena Vista. And all those games will start at 6 o'clock, and I think all of them are doubleheaders, men's and women's basketball. So join Innovation Video for exciting Beaver basketball as they try to fight to the top of the Iowa Conference. Some keys to that first half, Kevin Larson, he had three fouls in the first half. He was 0 for 4 in shooting. All of his shots were in the paint. And he, he, uh, he did have four rebounds, so that's one positive thing about his play. And Coach Peels really needs him in there. Both teams coming back on the floor, and we'll bring you the second half following a short station break. We'll see ya. After dating the guy forever, you think I could tell him anything. Why is this so hard? I'm really scared. It takes a lot of guts to tell someone he's too drunk to drive. But you can do it. Just say it. Because if you don't... There may be nothing left to say. Kevin, I'm gonna drive. Take the keys, call a cab, take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Little baby, don't say Last year, thousands of innocent children were caught in the crossfire of violent crime. And it's not just the children who suffer. How much longer will you let this go on? Call this number now. We'll send you information on how you can protect your children from crime and drugs in your neighborhood. Together, we will take a bite out of crime. they've reached their heroes. My hero, Mrs. Wooten. If I don't get through to that child, who knows, maybe no one else will. Teachers have the power to wake up young minds, to be heroes, to make a difference. Reach for that power, teach. Find out how by calling 1-800-45-TEACH. Be a teacher, be a hero. And again, our score, Minute 40 till the tip off the second half is 27-20. And uh, Jared, any stats that stick out in your mind as to the first half? Well, one of the biggest stats, I guess, is probably the play of Mark Fieldmeyer. Mark Fieldmeyer, he's five for five from the field with a total of 10 points. He's also got five rebounds. Uh, on on the ha half, the halftime stats, field goal percentage for uh, William Penn is 35% from the field, while Buena Vista is shooting 42%. From three-point range, William Penn is 33%, while Buena Vista is 25%. And the free throw line, both teams ice cold. Uh, Buena Vista 0 for 2, 
while William Penn is 43% from the free throw line. Here we see Coach Spielman trying to get some answers from the referees. Now, uh, all the same players are, are out on the floor right now, and, and Josh Eagle has been shooting the ball, so, so we may see him in the second half. We don't know why that's not really important to us, but how do you think uh, William Penn is gonna come out? Well, I think they're going to stick with the same type of uh, offense, most likely. However, I think their coach probably told them that they have to uh, cut the turnovers down. They had a total of 10 turnovers there in the first half, while Buena Vista had an eight. And a big key uh, to show Buena Vista's unselfishness, Buena Vista had eight assists, while William Penn only had three. Buena Vista had six deals, to William Penn's two. So Buena Vista doing a great job of hanging on to the ball and a great job of distributing the ball. All right, so we're ready to rock and roll for the second half. And this crowd is hoping that it uh, ends, or this game keeps on the same pace as, as the first half ended. It did end uh, the first half uh, quite, quite fast there, Jerry. Yeah, Buena Vista got a few fast breaks, and that's what they love to do so much. And uh, those fast breaks kind of forced William Penn into a run and gun game, and that's exactly what they don't want to do. Okay, so we've got it underway right now, and Mayberry is at the top of the key. The original starting lineups for both teams in, with the exception of William Penn, which has got uh, number 53 in there for him. Uh, that happens to be Charles Parkonowitz from Palauden, Arizona. Mayberry drives. Nice travel. And he traveled. He's looking for a tripping call, but I don't think he's gonna get one. Larson back in there, now he's got three fouls. So that may uh, prove costly. He's gotta be careful, right, Jared? He sure does, but I think he knows his foul situation. And Coach Spielman probably talked to him and told him he has to watch his fouls. Great pass by Ryan Jason Moore. Jason Evers! That's the ninth assist for the Beavers. And uh, Evers got it into the paint. <laughs> no one within at least five feet of him, and he just laid it up and in. 29-20 our score, 19 minutes remain in the contest. They're on Poets, up in the air, offensive foul. Larson stood there and took it. Well, Great job by Kevin Larson getting stepping in front of Parkway, so you could tell he was gonna lower his shoulder. And uh, Coach Spielman does a great job of teaching how to charge. They actually practice how to take charges in practice. And uh, referee hesitated before he called that offensive foul. So, Larson not hesitating to play, though. Up and in, Larson! That's his first punch of the night. That's really important to get him started hot in this second half. So, uh, the second half is starting out a little bit uh, faster than the first half did, certainly. It sure is. Jennings fakes everyone out of their shorts and uh, gets his first two. Or, well, not his first two, but uh, of the second half. Yeah, That's his first field goal. <laughs> wow, I, I was right in the first time. Walls for three. He got it. That's a great inside out, back out pass right there. That's what the Beavers need to do to open up that outside shot. They Running get it in, gun. They get it into Ryan Fourth, and uh, Donnie Walls' man collapses in on Fourth. He can dish it back out to an open Donnie Walls. Just like Donnie Walls said, uh, running gun, and I'm the A sharpshooter. Get Calkins in there. We've got a pretty uh, loaded arsenal of three-point shooters. We've got a quick BV team out on the floor right now. Jennings drives the baseline. Up, hits the side of the backboard. Caroms right back to him. He goes back up again. Can't get it to fall. we got Leapers to go straight there. And Jennings gets his third Steve attempt Jennings. and gets it in. Beavers just unable to, put, to quite grab that rebound. They had people in position. They just couldn't quite get the job done. Riley with the ball, gives it up to Evers. Evers to fourth. Larson with a fake. Out to Riley, three, got it! Brendan Riley! Once again, you see that inside back out pass. And uh, one important factor, Glenn Mayberry shadowing Donnie Walls, denying him whenever he passes the ball. Boom, shalaka, laka, boom. And, uh, Got two straight three-pointers by the Beavers. One by Riley and one by Walls. Pilgrim, and he's fouled. And I'm not sure, they, is he gonna get three shots now? Yes, he sure will. Three shots. Now, for those of you who don't know, that's the uh, college rule. If a three-pointer is tossed, 
and it is not good. And uh, the guy is fouled. The player is fouled. He gets three attempts at the at the strike. That's also a high school rule, but it's strange because in the NBA, it's not a rule like that. If they shoot from behind the three point, it's still only two shots. Well, Pilgrim makes his first free throw, and uh, he's got three, I do believe. Actually, he's got five points. I Excuse me. Second shot is on the way. Or third shot, by the way. So he makes two out of three. And the score is 37-27. Made all three. Ah. Riley dishes it off on the floor. Bobbled by Evers. Walls tries for the steal. Mayberry pushing it up. Almost stolen by Walls. Jennings leaps and gets the air pass. And off there. Walls with a rebound. Leaping up there. Guns it up court to Riley. Riley to fourth. Fourth all the way and he's fouled. That's Parker with his second foul. And he's just started to play in the second half. So. Falls on William Penn, number 53, Charles Parkowitz, his second, team second. Ryan Forth to the line. So Ryan Forth to go the into the line. And uh, he's having a pretty good game here, too. He's got six points, not too bad. Yeah, but he's 0 for 2 from the free throw line. He's got to change that right now. Well, let's see if he can do it with 16.39 left in the game. 37.27 is our score. Buena Vista on top. First shot, knocked it down. Knocks him down, and Ryan Forth must have heard your, your voice, like your guardian angel kind of voice, and... Uh, Knock down a pair. William Penn not, not pushing it too bad, but a lot faster than he did in the first half. Mayberry almost took the three there. That was great defense by Buena Vista. Jennings on the baseline, off the rim, and Larson with a rebound. Walls in the center of the court. Dishes it behind the back and tipped out of bounds by William Penn. Coach Bielman's not happy with that. He, he wants Donnie to get the pass to him. Not necessarily fancy, just get the job done. But uh, can't really explain what was going through the mind of Walls right there, but uh, luckily they got a great pass. And we're gonna foul on Pilgrim. All kind of late. I think it should be two shots. Yes, and it will be, uh, Jerry. Uh, that was a hesitant call. I thought it was on Larson picking up his fourth, going for the board, but uh, Riley with a great lob and pass. They're using that quite a bit this game. Yeah, they are. Uh, they change their offense a little bit to clear out the backside so they can throw the lob in there. And the Post are doing a lot better job of uh, sealing off their men and catching that lob pass. So Larson connects on both of them, I do believe. He's got four points on the night. And our score right now is 41-27. Buena Vista with 15 minutes and 47 seconds. BB starting to open up a little bit of room. 14 point lead. Pilgrim on the baseline. Can't get it to fall. Tipped around. Walls. Knocks it on the floor, rolling around. Should have been a traveling, I do believe. Jennings on the baseline, knocks it down. Steve Great hustle Jennings. there by both teams, getting on the floor, getting after it. Fast break, Beavers. Ryan Forth misses the layup. Larson, Larson with, with the, the board. Was that a mistake putting it on the floor there, Jared? Well, he wanted to get into a better position to shoot the ball. And uh, he pounded it pretty hard to the floor. So, if he was going to get it stolen, would have had to get fouled. Riley with an attempt, can't get it to fall. Jennings pushing it up to Pilgrim. Hey. Pilgrim. Great, great fast break there by William Penn. They spread things out and found the open man. 41-31 our score, into Larson. Larson tries to kick it back out. Errant pass. Jennings with a steal. Jennings pushing it up. 
Back to Jennings, and he's fouled by Walls. Donnie's third foul. Foul from Univista's number 10, Don Walls. Is that a careless third. foul there, Jared? Well, he's, he's just such a competitor. He gets after it so much that uh, sometimes he gets a little overzealous, just like right there. Well, Calkins is going to come in for Walls, and uh, Evers takes a seat as well. Mark Fieldmeyer back into the game. He had... He sparked the Beavers in the first half. And Spiel, and Spielman, not Spielman, excuse me. Spielman congratulates Walls as he comes to the bench. Nice hustle, Donnie. Jennings, first shot from the line. Knocked it down. Beavers have to be careful. They could uh, let this lead uh, be squandered. Oh, and... William Penn was into the lane, and that just squandered an opportunity for William Penn to trim it to an eight-point lead. Right now, our score is 41-32, a nine-point advantage for the Beavers. And uh, 14 minutes and 44 seconds left in the contest. That was a lane dot violation on David Wallace. Cockins bringing it up. Riley, not too many points. Fourth turnaround jumper. Four. He has 10 points now. Like I was saying, Riley with not too many points, but been tremendously active on the boards. And, and uh, I don't know how many assists he has, though. He's got quite a few. William Penn rotating the ball around. They're forced to play a little more up-tempo. They, they just have no choice. Mayberry with a drive all the way to the hoop and in. Mayberry with a quick Play first step Mayberry. there. Jay. He's, he's a great talent. A fast break, Mark Fieldmeyer with the great pass to Ryan Forrest, but he missed the shot. The Beavers having trouble missing the easy shots in the paint. I don't know if you saw that great touch pass by Mark Fieldmeyer. Yes, I saw it, and I just sat in amazement, but because uh, Ryan Forrest was sitting there with a wide open shot, but I just think he tried to, tried to get up and get down the court for defense before he saw the ball go through the hoop. But uh, nevertheless, they're still up by uh, nine. And uh, they'll be inbounding the ball. Ryan Forth inbounding the ball. Kicks it out to Calkins. Calkins elects not to pop the three. Into Zach Cole. Riley off the rim. And Penn pushing it up. Mayberry. Pilgrim driving. Hangs in the air, off the glass. Great body control shown there by Pat Pilgrim. He's a 6'1 senior from Greenbrier, Arizona. And a turnover by the Beavers. Jeff Spielman uh, trying to urge his team on. Beavers now with 10 turnovers. And the lead right now is seven. Dwindled down from uh, nine and 10. And was 14 a little while ago. So with 13-20, Beavers up by seven. Mayberry at the top. Jeff Madron over to Jennings. Back to Madron. Pops the three. In and out. And off of Brandon Riley. Well, a questionable call there by the refs, but we're not down there on the floor. This is the first time we've seen Josh Eagle. He gets in a uh, hand from the crowd. He's a crowd favorite because he's such a great leaper. Higo probably in there to, to get some rebounding. Uh, we don't know why, we won't contend. And Higo guarding Pilgrim. Madarin. Beavers also uh, with the absence of Jared Lehman. Mayberry with a three four shot. Jennings with a board and Jennings mm -hmm. coming out Jennings. on fire. He's got 11 points in the night. And he's coming out strong in the second half. 43-38, BV's gotta do something to their lead is just dwindling. It's five points. Fieldmeyer looking for somebody. Heagle goes up to Cockins. Cockins dribbles right. Down to Heagle. Heagle ah, passed too far into the fourth and he can't quite get to it. Evers will check back in. I think they need some height down low on the, on the baseline. He's coming in for fourth. Fourth a little tired. He needs a spell. Jared Lehman, where has he been? He's been sitting on the bench as has Brian Stadola. Usually they uh, see a lot of playing time. In the last game, Brian Stadola had 10 points against these very same William Penn Statesman. 
Hegel right up on Mayberry. <laughs> William Penn just uh, trying to work the ball around. They've, they're trying to get back into this one. They're down by five. So they are back into it, but uh, not a lead. Lobbed up Pilgrim and hey. slam dunks it. That was a great pass. Great connection there between those two players and a great finish by Pat Pilgrim. So Pat Pilgrim has had a couple of those slam dunks. Into Evers, through his legs. William Penn with the ball, they're running. 43-40. Madron, off the rim, he shanks it, but Jennings is there for the rebound. Jenny. Jeff Spielman calling a timeout. And boy, do the Beavers timeout need it. They had, the once had a 14 point lead, and now it's down to one. 43 so 43-42 is our score. We're gonna send it back to Loggy Communication Center here on the campus of Storm Lake. BV for a station break, and we'll bring it right back here. BV struggling to stay on top. Storm Lake, get ready for Honey Kiss Pizza. Hot, delicious pizza on a wholesome wheat crust, loaded with the finest ingredients and kissed with a sweet brush of honey. It's gourmet pizza like you've never tasted before, served up piping hot and delivered right to your door. Call today and order the Honey Kiss Special. Two medium single topping pizzas for only $10. Or get a pair of two topping pizzas plus a double order of cinnamon sticks for only $12.50. Honey on the dough, pure honey butter on the crust. It's great quality. It's a great value and it's fast. Call 732-2149 for Honey Kiss Pizza. Disbelief, Jared and I are as BV has squandered a 14 point lead. Uh, they're only up by one point now, 43-42. Uh, any crucial stats that stick out right in front of you, Jared? Well, they have 12 turnovers. Uh, four of them came in the second half here. And they had three in just one minute of play. And there's another one. Errant pass. The passing is getting careless. Mayberry with a shot. In and out. Pilgrim with a rebound. And he's fouled. And William Penn takes the lead. Pat Pilgrim now with 15 points. A chance to make it 16. Incredible comeback shown by William Penn. So 44 to 43. BV is down by one for the first time in quite a long time. And... Uh, Pat Pilgrim with a chance to make it a two-point lead. Steve Jennings with 13 points, and Mayberry with nine. And it is a two-point lead as Pat Pilgrim connects, and uh, Donnie Walls checking back in for Riley. BV needs to just get up off of the guff here. They squandered a 14-point lead. Coach Spielman has to be just irate right now, or um, nevertheless frustrated. Walls looking for somebody to dish off to. Takes it down to the left baseline. Up to Larson. Larson to Cockins. Jimmy down. Fielmeyer. Who shoots that three pointer? Three. Walls with a foul on number 43. Andre Caesar as he held uh, uh, Fielmeyer as uh, Walls was putting in the outlet pass. Or inlet pass, excuse me. So Caesar with a foul. Larson with a dish in. And there's another tip. Walls for three, in and out. Fielmeyer with another one of those tip passes, Jared. Yeah, Donnie Walls missed that three and that would have been a big key to get the crowd back into this game and also to change the momentum of the game. So for, for those of you who are just joining us, we have 10 minutes and 15 seconds left. BB has squandered a 14 point lead. It is down by two, 45 to 43. William Penn with the ball. What a fake! In the hole, Madrin with a Jared good uh, move to the hole there, Jared. That's one thing about the Beavers. They like to block shots. And just a head fake will usually get them up in the air. And so then you can drive right around them. Walls tries to dish it in, and just careless mistakes are just killing the Beavers right now. Down by four when they were playing so well earlier. Pilgrim. Off the rim, hung in the air for the longest time. Walls pushing it up court. This is it inside. Fieldmeyer is fouled again. Mayberry with a foul, I do believe. 
Kevin Larson. He has nine boards. A lot of them defensive. So six team fouls on uh, William Penn. That could prove costly down the road there. It sure could. Fourth looking for someone to pass to. Into Fielmeyer. Fielmeyer could have driven the lane. Hawkins with a three. Got it. Jimmy and now the curve is back into it. And Coach Fielman, he pulled Jimmy Hawkins aside practice yesterday. And he said, Jimmy, your, your job is to come in off the bench and spark us on offense. Hit us. Get us some three-point shots. And that's exactly what he did. And he's, he's pulled got... the Beavers within one. Madrin with the ball at the top. Pilgrim waiting there down there on the sideline, running down the baseline. They missed a jam opportunity there. Mayberry with a drive. Loose ball on the floor. No good. Fourth with a rebound. Kicks it out to Walls. Walls down the left side. Up to Larson. Larson lays it up and in. Mayberry takes the lead again. 48-47. What a fast break there, Jerry. Yeah, and now Steve Jennings. A leader for William Penn, he says, hey, Glenn Mayberry, we got to slow things down. we got to slow things down. And so we're going to keep it. Leon Richardson calls a timeout. Sorry about that. We're going to keep it right here as uh, the crowd is starting to get back into this. BB has taken the lead 48-47, to 47, and uh, this is just going to be a gut fight to the end, I think, unless BB can stop these errant passes and play. That's right. They haven't been taking the care of the ball like they were in the first half. There you see... Uh, a picture of the BV huddle under coach Jeff Spielman. The leading scorers, Ryan Forth has 10, as does Mark Fieldmeyer. Johnny Walls has eight. Uh, leading scorer for William Penn, Matt Pilgrim. He has 16 points to lead the Saceman. Uh, Steve Jennings, he has 13. And uh, Glenn Mayberry, he has nine points. So uh, I guess William Penn called the TO just to, to see what they were doing here, you know. Uh, they realize that BV is, you can never totally knock them out unless you're leading big time. This is a lot like the game at Oskaloosa where uh, BV was down by 15 points and then they came back and tied it up and sent it into overtime, except it's on opposite ends of the spectrum with William Penn coming back from a 14 point deficit. So William Penn with the ball. And they throw it away and almost uh, maybe are there to save a backcourt violation. Shot clock down to 20 seconds. Trying to get it into Pilgrim. Pilgrim hangs, knocks it down. He's got such great body control and he can jump so well. It's tough to stop him. Walls to Cockins. Cockins to Larson. Larson gets it knocked away, but Walls is there to clean it up. Loose ball around. Up to Mayberry, William Penn, lob, can't get anything going. And he was on the baseline, was Pat Pilgrim. And BV ball, Pat Pilgrim's like, I wanted a slam dunk there. I really wanted one, but foot was on the line. And we got a Larson slowly getting up. I don't know if he's. That was a huge play because that would have been Kevin Larson's fourth, fourth foul. And uh, they're going to take him out of the game. Uh, he probably has some blood on him. And the college rule this year is that if there's any blood, that they have to get it taped up and covered so to prevent the spread of AIDS. He's got a bloody nose, it looks like. He'll so, be right back in a little bit. We'll just get him cleaned up. So Cockins soon bound to Walls. Mayberry sticking right up on uh, Walls. And <laughs> Walls kind of joked and then took right off. And Mayberry sat in there and chuckled themselves. So Walls pushing it up. Looking for somebody to pass through. Gets it down to fourth. Fourth gets it knocked out of his hands by Jennings. He Jennings pushing it, it up court. Jennings was fouled on the way in, I do believe, by Cockett. Uh, fourth. By right fourth. That's his second fourth, foul. His second team fourth. Team fourth of the, of the half. So uh, William Penn with six team fouls. Buena Vista with four. Uh, William Penn inbounding the ball. Mayberry to Madrin. Mayberry irks his way out. Pilgrim at the top. Mayberry gets it up at the top of the key. Over to Madrin. Madrin soars to get the rebound or get that pass because it was pretty high. Fake down. They try and get it into Jennings. Jennings swarmed. Madrin passes up the three. Pilgrim walked. And he's just in disbelief. But keep getting walking there, Pilgrim. 
Excuse uh, that's me. That's the 15th turnover on William Penn. And uh, Calkins with the ball. Uh, Dan Zahn, our statistician, keeping on top of everything right there. Down to Fielmeyer, who's back in. Lobbed into fourth, but it was knocked away. Got to watch those. Fielmeyer with the pass. Madrin looking around. Tries to get to Mayberry. It knocked out of bounds. That's BB's 17th turnover. They're, they are just getting killed on that spectrum. They have nine this half, whereas William Penn only has five. So 49-48 is our score, and we have a timeout on the floor. And uh, the score right now is 49-48, and we're going to send you to a commercial right now, and we'll bring back as soon as it's over. Storm Lake, get ready for Honey Kiss Pizza. Hot, delicious pizza on a wholesome wheat crust, loaded with the finest ingredients and kissed with a sweet brush of honey. It's gourmet pizza like you've never tasted before, served up piping hot and delivered right to your door. Call today and order the Honey Kiss Special. Two medium single topping pizzas for only $10. Or get a pair of two topping pizzas plus a double order of cinnamon sticks for only $12.50. Honey on the dough, pure honey butter on the crust. It's great quality. It's a great value and it's fast. Call 732-2149 for Honey Kiss Pizza. So we're bringing you back right quick just before we inbound the ball. Donnie Walls called timeout for whatever reason and with 709 left in this contest. William Penn up by one. 49 to 48. Madron passes up the three. Jumps inside the three-pointer, knocks on the two. So 51-48 is our score. Madron with a shot. That's his first bucket. I'm I, I don't know if uh, Spielman wants the his players to sag off him or not. A, a steal by number 43, Caesar. That's the 18th turnover. So BV is is just gotta be frustrated. They squandered a huge, not a tremendously huge, but quite a substantial 14-point lead. Good defense though by the Beavers right now, denying uh, any pass in. Jennings for three, air ball. Cockins with a rebound. Brings it up in his own Cockins kind of way. Into fourth, fourth with a foul. Great feed there by Zach Cole, the big man. He can do it all. So I don't know if it was a shooting foul or. Foul on William Penn, uh, number 23, Glenn Mayberry, his third. Well, regardless, it's a one and one as the uh, Beavers are put into the penalty situation, which could help them substantially in the latter parts of this game. Who's who is the foul on, Jared? That foul's on Glenn Mayberry. That's his third oh, foul. Right. It's the seventh of a uh, half. So from here on out, the Beavers will be in the bonus. So fourth, can he connect and pull the Beavers within, well, possibly one? On the first one was good. And the split right now is 51 to 49 for those of you just joining us. Ryan Forth missed his first two free throws, and after that he's gone three, three, three for three. And off the rim is the is the last one. So BB only pulls within two, but point is a point nevertheless. So 51 to 49 our score right now. William Penn with the ball. Mayberry. Madrin. Over to Pilgrim, and the ball was thrown away. Pilgrim, the great leaper that he is, still couldn't get to it. Cockins hustles to get the ball, and they're going to push the ball up court. Walls bringing it up. That's 16 turnovers on William Penn. Walls gets it over to Cockins. Cockins driving. Cockins to sense an advantage. It Cockins into Walls. Walls with the jumper. Body. And Pilgrim oh. is tied it up. That's a great job by Donnie Walls of coming off that pick and shooting that jumper. Said in, you said earlier in the week that uh, well, I've got to drive more and I've got to be able to hit that jump shot. Well, words came true tonight. Mayberry, tie game, real good game going on here. Donnie Walls with 10 points. 
Same as, same as his number. Madrin gets the ball, guarded by fourth. And we've got a foul on Madrin as a moving pick. Ball on wing uh, pen number five. Elbow, one Jeff of the two. Madrin I can't, can't, couldn't second. quite see. Yeah, it looked like an illegal Team screen. Eight. He was moving on it, and that's his second foul. And he's going to take a seat on the bench. And uh, <laughs> one and one. So here we go. Donnie Walls will go to the line. And I don't know how good of a, Don Walls in the line a free throw shooter Donnie Walls is during the regular season. Do you during know see coach uh, Leon Richardson talking with Madrin explaining what needs to be done. There he's seen with a piece of chalk. And he's long on the baseline with a piece of chalk. So Walls Nine, misses his first four. free throw and uh, Jennings with a rebound. And, by, and no, no, Walls isn't the, really the best free throw shooter. He's shooting about 61% on the season. So with 4.56 left in this game, we're deadlocked at 51. Number 11 has checked in for uh, in place of Madron, and that is uh, Shad Rockhold. In loose ball, turnover. Coggins pushing it up to Phil Meyer with a reverse, can't get it to fall. No foul called. Jennings pushing it up, gets it to Pilgrim. Pilgrim lays it in. Hey, Pilgrim. He's just having an awesome game. He's got 20 points on the night, Pat Pilgrim does. He's having a great night, especially here in the second half. Donnie Walls bringing it up. Gets it to fourth, fourth Ryan jump shot. Four. So just like that, we're back and forth at 53 and 408 left in this contest. BB getting their hands up there, ready to rock. Let's see what they can do. A little pushing going on there. Rockhold, the top. Try to get down Jennings. Jennings loses it for a minute. You can hear the crowd getting into it, urging the defense on. Jennings for three, in and out. Pilgrim with a board, and he's fouled. The Bears have got to block out. They can't allow any, any uh, second chance shots for the statesman. That foul's on Zach Cole. He didn't think he fouled Falls him. Falls on Univista's number 52, but Zach Cole, his second. He's not the referee, so. Team's fifth. So Pat Pilgrim will go to Pat the line. Pat Pilgrim to the line for the Statesman. Five team fouls for the Beavers. Pat Pilgrim almost automatic from the line. He's four for four so far tonight. Well, let's hope he misses right here. First shot on the way. <laughs> Our wish came true. He's had a great second half here, though. He has 16 points in the second half. He was cold in the first half with two for eight, but he's really lit, lit it up. Pat Pilgrim carries the second one off the rim. So 54 to 43, our score. Um, Donnie Walls bringing it back up. Gives it to Cockins. Cockins for three! Off the rim. Plenty of time though. 325 left in the contest. William Penn up by one. William Penn going to slow things down, run their delay game a little more, see if they can pull the BV defense out and get an easy shot. Mayberry listening to instructions from the coach from the side. As uh, Mayberry rotates the ball around. Crowd, chanting boring, and kind of is. Pilgrim elected not to take the shot. Jennings for three, off the rim. Ryan fourth with the rebound. Cockins pushing it up court. Cockins takes it all the way off the glass again. Great job by Jimmy Cockins. He could sense that that man was going for the block, and instead he jumps off and put it off, off the glass. So BV jumps out by one with 234. This one could go right down to the wire here, Jared. Just like the last game at Oscaloosa. So uh, William Penn with the ball, and. The crowd's starting to kind of chant here and say, come on, Beavers. William Penn now can't sit back on its laurels. Pilgrim hang in the air, in and out. Ryan Forth with a key rebound. Cockin's gonna slow it up a little bit. And now they're gonna milk the clock. Well, he didn't have the numbers, so he decided to slow things down and run the offense rather than throwing up a bad shot. Smart move. Try and get into fourth. Aaron passed by Walls. And uh, William Penn coming back. 55 54 BV with a minute 48 left. Donnie Wallace upsetting himself. He's uh, cursing under his breath. 
Jennings with the jumper. Off. Pilgrim with a rebound. And they're saying Zach Cole pushed off and Zach's saying no way. That's his third foul. That'll be, I don't know, he passed the ball off. So, so it's not going to be a shooting foul. It's only the 16th six. foul of the half. One more and they are put in the, the uh, penalty. So uh, William Penn will inbound the ball. So but they've got to, they've got to. Uh, cover up Pat Pilgrim because Pat Pilgrim's just getting in there for the boards and just rebounding like crazy. You've got to get the defensive rebounds and block out. They're not doing a very good Jennings job Jennings dishes in. Mayberry fakes, comes in for the jumper, air ball, and Fieldmeyer there with a great rebound. Donnie brings it down. rebounds. There for fourth. Gives it over to Zach Cole. Zach Cole is fouled by number 45. Uh, Wallace. Uh, yes, that's Mark Fieldmeyer's ninth rebound. Mark Fieldmeyer. Fieldmeyer active on the, the boards. Meters. Almost as active as uh, Pilgrim, but uh, Zach Cole will go to the line. And uh, he hasn't shot a free throw yet. Oh, oh bank. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter how it goes in. As long as it goes in, it was ugly, but. Hey, a point is a point, and the Beavers are up by two. Yeah, some people say you got to call those, though, Jared. <laughs> yeah. Can't bank the second I, one, but I do do it again. 56-54, our score. We've got a minute six left, so William Penn's going to try and get a quick basket here. If not a two, then a three. Wallace with a turnaround jumper. Oh, in and out. We're lucky that didn't sink. Uh, Wallace will go to the line. I know nothing of his free throw ability right now. Uh, but uh, all I know is he's missed the first two. Zach and only two he's had. Has picked up four fouls in the second half. He's picked up three in the last two minutes. So Wallace will go to the line for some key free throws. And if not, uh, then BV may be able to irk this one out. Uh, they're leading 56-54. Uh, we just kind of hope for the best if you're a BV fan. Wallace's first one in. Beavers haven't done well down the stretch in this, during the season, and Jeff Spielman wants a timeout. Going to try and ice him, and uh, I think we're going to stay here. And uh, timeout charge to Vista. What do you think some of the strategies uh, Spielman's going to come up with? You know, you've got less than a minute here to come up. Well, in the past, the Beavers just haven't been very smart in taking care of the ball, and especially in the last two minutes of the game, and they've blown a lot of leads. Last. Uh, in the last meeting of between these two teams, the Beavers led with two minutes to play, 82 to 74. And yet, William Penn came back to tie the game at 89 at the end of regulation. Okay, now they're, they're talking, Spielman's in the in the huddle talking right now. Let's just run things. Don't you think so? Work it down there, get a good basket. Get a good shot. Hey, the hustle back up. Get the blocks out. Oh, no, well, there you hear heard uh, Coach Spielman, he's saying, he said, we want to get a good shot, and uh, there you heard a lot of players saying, box out, box out, and that is very vital to a BV victory right now. So they're up by one. Wallace coming to the line with a key free throw, maybe the most important shot of the game right now for Wallace. Uh, he hasn't been too active, but uh, I guess he'll, he could go back to Oskaloosa being the game's hero. <laughs> and you see some smiles from the BV bench. Apparently they felt the presence of the microphone in their huddle. So, uh, Wallace coming to the line. BB crowd getting loud. Brendan Riley's going to come back in for the Beavers. And he misses it. Wallace with the rebound. Big time miss. We're talking choke. We're talking choke. Wallace bringing it up. It up to Cockets. We got 40 seconds left in this contest. Third, there's a 30 seconds left in the shot clock, so there's a 13 second differential. So they will definitely have to shoot one before the end of the game. They're working for a good shot. Fieldmeyer off the glass. Loose ball. We got a foul on somebody. That's going to become Mark Fieldmeyer. Mark Fieldmeyer. His first, or first foul of the game. 
And that puts uh, William Penn in the one and one. And now if Jennings hits both these free throws, they are up by one. And that puts BV on the offensive. So uh, big free throws here for Jennings. Zach Cole comes out and Brendan Wiley comes in as an offensive threat. 28.6 seconds remaining in the game. So a big free throw here for, for Jennings. Uh, crowd getting loud. And he can't get it! Thielmeyer with a rebound! And he's just holding it for a little bit. Looking for somebody pass who guns it down to fourth. And fourth goes a wise thing and pulls it right back out. And they foul Dockey Walls with 15.2 seconds. And this crowd's going crazy. And that's probably the wrong guy BB wants at the line. Uh, as I said, Donnie Wall's not the best free throw shooter. He's only, uh, I think William Penn's gonna call a, a, a timeout to try an ISO. I don't know whether we're staying here or not. Yes, we are that staying foul here. foul on Pat Pilgrim, his third foul. And Donnie Walls is gonna be shooting two shots. Well, I don't know what. Yeah, two shots. They are now in the bonus. That's the 10th team foul against William Penn. And I think we're gonna try to yeah, we're trying to get it, get, try and get in the huddle here. There you heard uh, Coach Gilman, he said, I don't want you driving. And uh, so he wants, wants him to pull it out, uh, hold on to the ball, just let him, let him foul him. Uh, Donnie Wallace has to make these free throws. I think it's essential. Well, uh, if, he makes all, if he makes both those free throws, that forces them to put up a three, and uh, they can't win with it. You know, they can only tie, and that will put us into overtime. We, we, we don't want that, but uh, we certainly don't want a loss. So, sitting here, this crowd is going ballistic. I'm just going crazy here. So, Donnie Walls is going to go to the line. Jared, you got a smile on your face. What's on your mind? <laughs> so far tonight, Donnie Walls is two for two. And uh, he's a great clutch player. He's such a great competitor. And uh, so, we'll see if he can make these free throws. I don't. So, Donnie Walls stepping up to the line. Hawkins will wait at midcourt for defensive purposes. And William Penn, I think, is calling another timeout. And so, apparently <laughs> trying to really ice I, I think they down. realize how big these free throws are, right, Jerry? I don't quite know what they're trying to prove. They do realize how important these free throws are. But still, even if he makes both of them, they're only down by three. And all that takes is one point, one shot, due to the three-point line in college basketball. So, uh, Pilgrim, how many points does Pilgrim have? in the background. This crowd's trying to get into it. Dan's on our statisticians. We're getting down, as you can see. Wish we had a camera up here to watch it. So let's see if William Penn will use another timeout. Although I think, I think they may be out of timeouts. Those are just have one. With Donnie Wallace winning at the line, and Lynn Boyer coming in the crowd to watch the end of this game. It's the BV women have got to be happy. They pulled out a win. They moved to 6-15 six and, six and 15 on the air. Starting to show a little bit of improvement there. Yeah, under first year coach Janet Allgood. She's done a great job with the program. Big free throw here. Donnie Walls on the way. In and out. Oh, that's a tough roll, especially at home. Usually those rolls will go for you, but no. Donnie Walls, second one. In and out. Rebound. Oh, no. Mayberry with a rebound. Pushing it down court. Pilgrim driving, no good, no good! <laughs> and Fieldmeyer with, with the biggest That's the 11th rebound of the game, and that is a huge rebound. His biggest sport of his varsity career is Fieldmeyer freshman. Oh, welcome, to freshman. welcome to the number 25, Pat Pilgrim. Mark Fieldmeyer. Mark Fieldmeyer for Vina Vista. And, uh, Mark Fieldmeyer, typically a pretty good free throw shooter. That foul is on number 25, Pat Pilgrim. His fourth, I believe. So Josh Hugo comes in for Brendan Riley. Why, I don't quite know. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's for defensive purposes. I yeah. imagine in 4.5 seconds, that's probably his fourth. Mark Fielmeyer's first shot. 
Oh, in and out, off the glass and in. What a shot. Uh, Mark Fielmeyer has uh, 11, 11 points, points. and oh, William Payne calls another time out to ice him. I think he's our leading scorer. No, he's not. He's no. down by one to Ryan Ford. But we're staying here. How could you possibly leave? Half the crowd is standing up on their feet. The other half are probably over 40, so we're not going to worry about As it. As I right? said, uh, Mark Fielmeyer, he's, he's a pretty good free throw shooter. But typically, he's not in this type of clutch situation. Right now, the Beavers are at 57-55 over the William Pence Naseman. And as a freshman, he's under a lot of pressure. From the field goal range, BV is 23 of 50, so they're shooting just under 50%. Here you see uh, BV in the huddle, while William Penn is 24 of 52. So pretty even shooting for both teams. So I think if you had had to pick, if you have to pick an MVP, you'd probably want to make this a group effort, but Mark Fiemeyer has to stick out in your mind. He sure does, especially coming in off the bench as a freshman. You don't expect, uh, you know, this is the first game he's seen this type of substantial playing time, and uh, he's he's come up big for the Beavers. So he'll come to, he'll come to the line for a second free throw. Uh, I don't think he has to call the bank in this kind of situation, so let's just hope he gets it in there. Second one on the way at nothing but net. So William Penn forced to go for the three. They're out of timeouts. Now the best they can do is tie. Mayberry. So we're up Shot up. No good. Oh, and Beavers win. win it. Beavers win. Beavers win. And this crowd is up on their feet. What a game to watch here at the Sigh field house. relief went out as that game winning, potentially game so winning shot went off the rim. We're going to keep it right here. And and you've got to be excited about this kind of a contest. BV had came out, they, they lost a 14 point lead, they got down by like five, and then they come right back. What do you think of that, Jerry? Well, uh, they did a great job in finally pulling off the victory. Uh, earlier in the season, they may have lost this game just because of their lack of experience, but they've aged a lot, especially in, uh, you know, they're still the same age they've gained a lot of experience throughout their games, and so they pulled off this victory. And one thing the crowd at home has to understand is Mark Fimo is a freshman, and in this kind of atmosphere, I don't care where you're playing, you're going to have some tough games, right? Pretty balanced scoring attack for the Beavers. Ryan Forth had 13, uh, Mark Fielmeyer had 12, and Donnie Wallace had 12. But Mark, you're right, Mark Fielmeyer did a great job. I think he had 11 rebounds, too to lead the Beavers. Uh, he was a great spark off the bench for the Beaver team. And he's a freshman. Leading scorer for both had 23. Uh, Steve Jennings had 13, and, and uh, Glenn Mayberry had 12. 11 rebounds for Mark Fielmeyer, and Kevin Larson also with a lot of rebounds. He had nine rebounds. A big story in this game was turnovers. Uh, do we know how many total turnovers we had for both teams? Uh, the Beavers had, I think, now this is, I don't know if this is right or not. They, I think they had 19 turnovers while uh, the Statesman had 17. So it was a pretty sloppy game. But down the stretch, both teams played really well and handled the ball, took care of it a little better. And the Beaver fans are still on the floor celebrating this kind of a victory. A close one at home. And uh, a lot of things could have gone wrong for the Beavers and they came out of here really lucky, I think. Uh, tomorrow night they played Loris. Do you know anything about Loris? Loris is a great team. Uh, they're one of the top leaders in the conference. They're third in the conference, and I think they may even be ranked uh, regionally. Uh, their record is pretty good, too. Um, uh, let's see, what is their record? They're 5-4 and four and 9-8. and eight. No, wait, that's women. They're 11-6 uh, and six overall and 6-3 six and three in the Iowa Conference. And I think that pretty much ends it for us here. We thank Dan Zahn for being our statistician. Well, what we're going to do is, is we want to know, uh, why don't you give an idea of what upcoming games are coming up on, uh, on Innovation Video Sports. We'd like to say hi also to the Zen Masters and everybody back at the studio. Take it away, Jared. February 13th, that's tomorrow, we got Loris at Buena Vista. February 19th, next Friday, Simpson travels to BV. And February 23rd, Wartburg at Buena Vista. And all those games will start at 6 o'clock p.m. And so join Innovation Video for exciting Beaver basketball as they try to fight to the top of the Iowa Conference. Now this is a group effort. Uh, 
I think we're going to let us go, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, for uh, Jared Okander, uh, I'm Dave Fields, and we'll see you tomorrow night.